Hi, welcome to Knits Up. I am Knitter CNY, also known as Mindy. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Knitter CNY. You can find a podcast group over on Ravelry as well, and there's also a Facebook page for the group. Um, I would encourage you, if you like this video, please subscribe, please join. Follow me on Instagram, that's where I post most of my content. And I am, it's gonna be a short episode today. I'm gonna to talk about where I've been, what I've been doing, because it's been about maybe a month since I've recorded at least. Um, the plan to do regular recording kind of went right out the window. Um, but I have been working on some things and I've gotten some things done. So I thought I'd show you those. Uh, the where I've been content is about, Almost two weeks ago, I spent a week in San Antonio, Texas. I have a friend uh, who's in the military on active duty, and he said, I got Easter weekend off. Would you come hang out with me? And I said, sure, because I haven't been any place in on a vacation in two years. I never took one before the pandemic. So I flew in. Uh, he picked me up, and we... I had a couple of days by myself before he got out on leave and visited a whole bunch of restaurants, including there's a place called the, down there called the Tower of the Americas that is a big tower with an elevator that goes to the top and then there's a rotating restaurant in it. Really good food. Um, we went to a restaurant called Smoke that is an outdoor barbecue place. Very, very good. Um, we went to Rosario's, which is a Mexican restaurant that is down there. Fabulous fajitas. And then we also took a, a side trip to Corpus Christi and toured the USS Lexington and swam on the North Beach right beside it in the, the Gulf. And we went to a restaurant down there that's called Docks, and it is on the bay. It has an unobstructed view of the bay. We just got takeout and ate in the basement. There are picnic tables down in the basement. It's a beautiful view of the water. And we also went to Whitecap Beach, which is in Corpus Christi, really nice. Um, the San Antonio is really tourist friendly. I walked all the places I needed to be. I've been walking and exercising, so that's really good. I've gotten out and um, I probably walked six miles one day, which is very unusual for me. I've lost a little bit of weight. I'm not really doing it to lose weight. I'm doing it to just feel better. Um, I feel better when I exercise. I have depression, so we're trying this. Um, I'm still on medication. I don't advise anybody stopping medication or anything like that. I'm just a person. So that is not medical advice, but a little exercise never hurt anybody. So I uh, go out and take a walk or something. Um, the weather has been kind of nice here, but in San Antonio, it was in the high 70s. It got to 80 one of the last days I was there. Um, I felt really safe. The river walk in San Antonio, if you're not familiar with it, is uh, you can look it up on the internet, the river walk, but it's full of restaurants and stuff like that. I took a little boat tour while I was down there. And that's below street level. You have to walk down the stairs or take an elevator down to it. We also uh, went to all of the missions, uh, which is um, the Alamo is part of that. We went to Concepcion. We went to San Juan, San Jose. And I can't forget, I forget what the last one is, but um, I will try and post some pictures somewhere. I think I posted some of them. One of the days I went to La Valita, which is a small artisan um, village that's supposed to simulate, or maybe is part of like a, Mexi a traditional Mexican market. And there are these little stalls, um, like little houses actually you walk into. A lot of them are closed the day I went because it was a weekday. Uh, there was one place that was really cool. I posted about that in my Instagram. I think it's called The Bird and the Pear hand embroidered things beautiful um but you can see a close-up of what i bought there i don't think it would do it justice putting it on video 
So that's what I've done. I had a great time, got a little blonder hair, got a little bit of a tan, although I look really washed out in this picture. The other thing that I started on the way, and I'm gonna start with this because I started it on the plane, is a sock. And it looks like that. Um, this is Die For You, which is Beware the Winnipeg Whiteout. And it has some striping in there, some speckling, um, contrast heel, and I'm probably going to put in a contrast toe. And I've got some pretty good matching low yeah they are gonna kind of go together for the toe because I tend to have kind of sharp nails and this is on a 2.25 millimeter needle and I started at 72 stitches and I went down I decreased here and then I decreased again and now I'm down to 64 because I wanted a little wider leg um, my socks have been kind of uh, pinch in there. Um, so I didn't want to have it pinch. So that's what I'm working on right now. I've worked on that more since I've gotten home. And I have finished up two pairs of socks. Now, if anybody knows me, they know they tend to see one sock and then like two years later, they might see the other sock. So I'm pretty proud of myself that I finished these. This is the first pair which is Patton's Croy in rainbow stripes. Although I call this project dark rainbow because it is a really dark rainbow. I believe I bought this at the Yarn Factory Outlet store three, four years ago uh, in Canada, which is the outlet store for Yarnspirations. I did a heel flap and a gusset like I usually do. Um, they're really heavy, they're nice. I used a 2.25 millimeter needle again. And then I finished up, I had this yarn forever. I think this was the very first, one of the very first sock yarns I ever bought, which is Knit Picks Felici. And I bought it when it was on clearance the first clearance sale that Knit Picks ever had. So I had two balls of this. I've tried to start these socks at least three times and I believe it's November of last year, I started them again. So now they are all done. And if you notice, the heel looks a little bit different and I'm gonna show you why. If I turn the sock this way, you will definitely see the difference. The heel is one I haven't tried before, but I'm probably going to use it again. I did these socks toe up and I did a wedge toe and then I did an afterthought heel. But this heel is called the Thumb Joint Hat Top Heel. It is from Laura Neal, M-E-E-L. And I own a craftsy class um, of her. She also wrote a book called Sock Architecture, where you'll find lots of heels and toes and information about socks. I don't own the book, but I own the class. So she goes over this heel in there. Basically, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to give away the bread and butter because that's her thing. But um, they fit really well. Um, they look really plain and it doesn't break up the striping or anything like that when you use this. This is probably a better, you can't really even see that either. But, so I finished two pairs of socks. I'm working on another one. Um, that's good. And I have enough sock yarn for probably 37 pairs of socks. No lie, 37. So we're going to get into that. Probably the next socks I'm going to do are the um, Little Bobbins Cyril socks. 
and I have the yarn for that. Um, both the yarn for the Die For You and for the Cyril socks is from a really good deal that I got on Facebook Marketplace locally. There was a woman who was selling these for like $10 and each and I was like, I'm jumping on this. And the Cyril, um, I'm gonna make the Cyril socks um, with that pattern. And it's the yarn that um, Danny used for that. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's an interesting story. I like it. Um, I am single. There's nobody in my life that is going to propose. Um, there's, you know, but I like the idea of it. And I am going to call them my wedding socks because someday maybe I'll get married. We never know. So that is the width and breadth of what I've done. I hope that you guys are well and that you are happy and healthy. Uh, lastly, this is the bombshell tee from Stephanie Chappelle, I believe. No, I don't know what this is. But anyways, you can look at my my Ravelry page or I'll post something uh, on Instagram or something like that with a picture of me in this and I will tell you what it is because it's from Big Girl Knits. I think it's the bombshell tee from Stephanie Chappelle from Big Girl Knits and the neckline can be a little lower. Um, I'm putting it up here just for modesty's sake but it is a really nice tee. It's very loose here, so it's really comfortable to wear and it's really easy to wear. So I hope you guys have a great week and thank you for coming to listen to me. Please subscribe if you like what you hear and see and I'll be hopefully back in a couple of weeks with some more projects. Have a great day. Bye-bye.